Hello everybody and welcome to the next installment of Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Last time we overcame the first of the game's horrendous boss battles and defeated Lawrence Barrett. Chapter 7 Maneuvers in the Dark. Sent to Highland Park to investigate a signal, Jensen discovered more than he bargained for. A secret FEMA facility temporarily occupied by Black Op mercenaries. The same mercenaries who left him for dead six months ago. Forced into combat with a soldier named Barrett, Jensen proved victorious, emerging from battle with a corpse on his hands and another possible lead, an apartment complex in China named Hengsha Court Gardens. Anyway, as I was saying, last time we did defeat the first boss battle with Lawrence Barrett, and we left the FEMA detention facility in Highland Park. We arrived here at Seraph Industries for our third visit. I fully upgraded my hacking capture tree, buying bot domination with the practice point I had. And our current objectives are thus. M11, Whispers of Conspiracy. Meet Pritchard in my office. Pritchard is waiting in my office to tell me something important. I might want to see him before debriefing Seraph, but then again it might be fun to make him wait. Meet Seraph in the penthouse. Seraph needs to hear about my encounter with the Black Ops mercenary, Barrett. He's waiting in the penthouse for me. With that said, I believe that the next augmentation I'm going to go for... It's the last one on the Deus Ex wiki as useful. I need to build dermal armor up all the way to EMP shielding. So I need two Praxis points before I can activate dermal armor. That's up next. Anyway, this will be a fairly short installment. We're just in Seraph Industries. I don't have to set up any double takedowns, which is going to shorten things considerably. Let's talk to everybody. I can't believe it, Jensen. An internment camp smack dab in the middle of Detroit. Shit. You know, people have been talking about these kind of things ever since I was a kid. But to actually find evidence, to know the people running this country distrust us so much, makes you wonder if they really did close Guantanamo. You know, people have been talking about these kind of things ever since I was a kid, but to actually find it... I love the ties to society as is that are present in this game. After all those promises to close Guantanamo, Guantanamo's still open. What the fuck is up with that, Mr. President? However, I digress. Guantanamo is something that has angered me with both Presidents Obama and Bush. But you're not here to hear, you're not watching this to hear me bitch about American presidents and their curtailments of our civil liberties. You're here to watch me play Deus Ex, so let's talk to these guards. People are finally starting to calm down in here. The hostage situation really rattled them. Of course, the FEMA rumor isn't helping, but I think the worst is over, as long as nothing else happens. Of course, the FEMA rumor is you know, this game makes me want to use my access to law databases like Westlaw and LexisNexis to see what exactly the FEMA statutes and other such statutes, chartering government agencies, actually authorize them to do. I'm very curious if FEMA, as to whether or not FEMA can actually build it internment facilities like the one in this game. I think I will read those statutes. I'll let you know in the next video. Any idea what the big guy's got in store for you next, Mr. J? You go do what you gotta do. The team's gonna be sticking around to make sure nothing happens. You go do what you gotta do. Well, that's very good of you, gentlemen. I'm sorry if I seemed frustrated in the last video. I got four hours of sleep and I hadn't really caffeinated enough to record one of these things. I'm in a much better mood now. I bet it's obvious, but I'll say it anyway. Here in the storage unit, it looks like nothing has changed. We have a bunch of ammo that I'm not going to use, plus a stun gun, but oh wait! Typhoon ammo, that's worth picking up. By the time I fight the second boss, I intend to have the heavy, heavy damage variant of the Typhoon. Because unlike the boss fight with Barrett, there aren't any conveniently placed explosive barrels to make the fight doable if you haven't invested in combat augs. 
Meaning, you kind of need the Typhoon. The good news is, Typhoon is the solution to all of your boss battle problems. So you want to collect ammo for it. I'd like to finish up what I have to do, so I can get home. Why don't you be more of a jerk, asshole? I'd rather not spend another night at the office. I'd rather not spend another night at the office. What is everyone still doing here? What am I still doing here? Now that things have calmed down, I think I'll head home. Now that things have calmed down, I think I'll head home. Well, that's all fine. Adam, did you hear? Someone stirred up a hornet's nest in gang territory. Derelict Road. The DRB are raging. Apparently they're looking for some augmented nut who was in their territory. That's got a death wish. That'd be me. I hope my sister's all right. She lives near Derelict Road. Man, if it was up to me, I'd just carpet bomb the whole district. No big loss. I hope my sister's all right. Okay, he's done. Let's talk to these two upstanding gentlemen. Hey, Mr. Jensen. You think we still need all this security in here now that the situation is behind us? Of course we do! Most of the office has gone home. Only the cleaning crew is sticking around. Most of the office has gone home. Only the cleaning crew is sticking around. Hey boss, you been up to see Mr. Seraph yet? Ask me to remind you to go see him, if you haven't yet. He actually came by and spoke to me personally. Must be something important. He actually came by and spoke to me personally. All right, let's head through here just to make sure there's nothing lying around. I I actually didn't realize this. As much as I love this game, I've only played it through once. You're seeing my second playthrough. But that Typhoon ammo wasn't there the first time, so I do need to check all of the little niches around Seraph Industries to make sure there's nothing new. Anyway. Hi, Adam. Um, look, I don't want to sound like a conspiracy nut job, but... Uh... Is it true you found a secret government internment facility right here in Detroit? Goddamn government. Emergency management, my shiny white ass. The mechanism for martial law is in place, buddy. You just watch. Goddamn government. Emergency. I think one of the most amazing things they pulled off in this game, his comment reminded me of it, ironically enough, is that even if you had not played the first one, or the or the second one. This one has almost no relationship to the second one. Maybe none at all. But even if you hadn't played Deus Ex, this game would be brilliant. That said, the way it works to set up the first Deus Ex and works in conjunction with it is just amazing to me. I'm so happy that the same studio is making Thief 4 because they pulled off the impossible what I would have thought was impossible after Invisible War. They pulled off a sequel, prequel, whatever you want to call it. They pulled off another Deus Ex game in the Deus Ex franchise with the name Deus Ex that lived up to the first one, even surpassed it in some ways. Thief 3, as much as I think it was unfairly maligned, still wasn't as good as the first two. I have very high hopes for Thief 4 after playing this game. That said, let's get back to Human Revolution. Jensen, guess who was here? That humanity front guy. Traeger? Tiger? Tiger! Tell me something. Has he got a personal grudge against the big guy? If I didn't know how he felt about augmentations, I swear he was working for another company and trying to put us under. If I didn't know how he felt about augmentations, I swear he was working for another company and trying to put us under. I know my viewership isn't that large, but for those of you who do watch, I would like for you to comment, because this game addresses it more squarely. I, I mean, it makes it a story point more than, way more than any of the other two did. How do you feel about human augmentation? How do you feel about transhumanism? My bias should be evident after the first two playthroughs. I think it's the future. I think it's to be celebrated. I think it's wonderful. I read extreme tech every day and just lose my marbles over the stuff that they post. But particularly if you don't think the future portrayed in this game is awesome, I want to hear what you think. I really do. How do you feel about transhumanism, human augmentation? Let me know in the comments, those of you who watch. Let's talk to the other guard. 
You got anything you need help with, Mr. J, you come get me. It's nice to know how loyal you are, sir. I wouldn't mind busting some heads with you. Especially some of those anti-augmentation radicals. I wouldn't mind busting some heads with you. This sighting comes barely three days after. I want to start her at the beginning. But let's talk to this guy. Oh. Retired millionaire Hugh Darrow was spotted leaving an upscale hotel in Prague today. The same hotel that was concurrently hosting a three day conference for UNESCO. This sighting comes barely three days after Versalife CEO Bob Page was also spotted powwowing with United Nations delegates. This time, outside the International Organization's New York headquarters. I don't know about you folks, but it suggests to me that we may be finally seeing some action in the ongoing debate over human enhancement technology. Why else would some of the world's foremost experts in augmentation sciences be meeting with delegates in secret? This is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live from PICUS. Bob Page, the United Nations, Holy shit. Let's talk to this dude now. I'd like to finish up what I have to do so I can get home. I'd rather not spend another night at the office. I'd rather not spend another night at the office. We heard that already. Suck it up and do your job, douche. What do we have in here? Janitor. I'd like to finish up what I have to do so I can get home. Oh, you're going to be a jerk too. I'd rather not spend another night at the office. I'd rather not spend another night at the office. Let's read this newspaper. Downtown broadcast installation vandalized. Cable television and radio services were disrupted across Detroit city center this evening when a broadcast antenna located in gang-controlled territory was shut down. Local police and Picus News, who own and maintain the broadcast installation, are investigating the incident. Police investigate break-in at City Morgue. Oh, there's Wayne Haas. An unknown perpetrator broke into the Jefferson Drive police precinct this evening and tampered with important evidence, potentially derailing an ongoing investigation, said police. Officials have begun questioning anyone who may have witnessed the burglary, with an apparent focus on desk sergeant Wayne Haas, who was on duty at the time. Haas is the ex-SWAT team operative who shot and killed a 15-year-old boy in Mexican town two years ago, igniting a citywide riot. The precinct will be shut down until a thorough investigation by Homeland Security is completed, said Ryan Penn, chief of the Detroit Police Department. Jefferson Drive is the same facility where the bodies of those killed at Seraph Industries had been taken after the savage attack at company headquarters earlier this year. Oh, poor Wayne. I convinced him to break up. I convinced him to disobey orders, defy the rules. Looks like he's gonna suffer for it. Can you believe what's going on out there? Terrorists, demonstrations. I heard there's been lots of violence in Derelict Grove too. Gangs, I guess. Not too many casualties yet, but something's got them on edge. You can feel the tension in the air. I don't envy you living near there. That's where it'll blow up. Those gangs are just waiting for a spark. You can feel the tension in the air. All right. I want to visit Pritchard. It's not only the pro-ogs who might want to get a taggart, but the ones against them too. You're saying that pro-human activists might see this visit as treachery? I'm just saying anything is possible, so keep your eyes out for suspicious characters. Right. No one relaxes until Taggart and his entourage are out of the building. Got it covered here, boss. Don't you worry. Sounds like it. Way to be, soldier. I think Mr. Seraph might be expecting you. I think Mr. Seraph might be expecting you. I wager Mr. Seraph is expecting me, but I am actually going to go to my office and visit Pritchard first. Hey boss, I heard there was some kind of commotion at the downtown police station earlier. You know that's the precinct that was handling the investigation into the first attack against us, don't you? We're attacked, then the police handling the investigation get attacked. I guess it's a stretch to think that the two are related. We're attacked, then the police- I didn't attack shit! Well, I guess I did take down almost all of the cops on the floor, but whatever. Let's talk to the patroller. Jesus, Adam. A goddamn FEMA camp right in the middle of the city? No one knows about it? What the hell is going on with this country? By the people, for the people, my ass. I give it five years, Adam. Five years, and this country falls apart. By the people, for the people. Another reason that I love these games is that 
I feel like there aren't really any good guys. I guess I've kind of avoided it so far. I'll just say that personally, I'm a libertarian. I like freedom. I don't like anybody bossing me around in any aspect of my life. And the issues this game explores are just... All of these games explore are just fascinating to me. Let's talk to this other guy. Any idea what the big guys got in store for you next, Mr. J? You go do what you gotta do. The team's gonna be sticking around to make sure nothing happens. You go do what you gotta do. Alright, let's visit these offices now. Okay, goodbye. Did you see that William Taggart in here? He badmouths our industry every chance he gets, and then he expects to walk into some big welcome after we've just been attacked? The man's got a lot of nerve. Makes me so angry I could break something. The man's got a lot of nerve. Makes me so angry I could break something. Let's talk to this other dude. If we can. Got the latest figures for the last quarter. Mr. Seraph won't be happy. We're still way behind Tai Young Medical in market share. Yeah, I know. What am I still doing here? I decided to stick around and get some work done since I was in the office anyway. Yeah, I know. What am I still doing here? I decided to stick around Let's and get some work done. briefly look around for items and one thing that's worth noting is you can't do anything offensive to Seraph employees. I can't take them down and read his computer and he's not going to move. So we are doomed to never know what's in his email. Let's talk to these people. Get this, Adam. I heard on the police scanner, someone decimated the derelict rogue gang. It took them apart right in their own territory. Must have been some turf war with the MCBs. Oh, they deserved it. I know, it's ridiculous. But a guy like me couldn't just walk through that area. Maybe a guy like you could. The DRBs hate people with augments, though. Oh, they deserved it. I know. I think we've heard from this guy, but let's make sure. By the people, for yep. the people. Here's Malik's office. Ebook hasn't changed, of course. I don't think anything is different on her computer. Nope. So let's move on. Let's. Uh, these two really look like they ought to be conversing. I hope so. You go do what you gotta do. The team's gonna be sticking around to make sure nothing happens. But no, I hear no audio file. I think it's a, probably a bug. I'm sure they're supposed to be conversing, but whatever. Hey, Adam. I think Frank wanted to see you. He seemed really stressed. I'd better not keep you. <laughs> Take it easy, okay? I'd better not keep you. <laughs> Take it easy, okay? Adam, is it true Mr. Seraph is sending you to China? I mean, you've only just got back to work, and I would think we'd need you here. I guess David knows what he's doing. I guess David knows what he's doing. All right. Let's wait for... Later. Oh, good. She's off the phone already. Just saw Taggart and his lapdog in here. What a couple of hypocrites. Especially that doctor. I heard on the radio that sandoval has been investigated for fraud and malpractice so many times, he has a lawyer on permanent retainer. Nothing sticks, though. I heard on the radio that sandoval has been investigated... By the people... For okay. ...so many times... Pritchard's office is empty, but newspaper's the same. Something important, since we're in here, we can now hack his computer. It is a level 5 lock. Pritchard knows what's up, I guess, but let's hack it anyway. Security rating 5. Of course we can't get to the beautiful red, but here's what's important. It's f still fairly straightforward. We need to get two exit nodes and one data store. No big deal. Let's get it all. Got the exit, got the data store. Access granted. Got the other exit. So nuke virus plus 125 XP. I am still 
75 XP ahead of where I should be. From David Seraph to Frank Pritchard, re-login and password changes. Thanks for telling me, Frank. It's good to know. As for the passwords, be sure to let the affected parties know. Nuclear Snake at si.corp.det wrote, As surprised as I am to admit this, Jensen's security measures actually did work that evening. That environmental warning we all heard go off? It was a backup failsafe that he insisted I insert into the alarm coding. I'm still working on finding out how the primary alerts got suppressed. But until I have an answer, I believe it necessary to revamp some important passwords. <laughs> I've taken the liberty of suggesting a few ideas. Here they are. D. Seraph, Frenetic Pony. With some vowels missing, of course. A. Margulies, Gossip Girl. F. Malik, Bombardier. D. Mitchell, Lawboy. C. Martinez, Lollipop. W. Rossellini, Quintus, Me, Nuclear Snake. P.S. I'm sure I don't have to remind you to delete this after you've read it, do I? From Cecilia Pate at picus.mtl.can to Frank Pritchard. Series pitch 3091. Mr. Pritchard, thank you for submitting your show concept and script treatment to Picus TV. We have duly reviewed your submission and regret to inform you that there is currently no interest in developing a program of such a nature. In fact, Mr. Pritchard, as this is your fifth remarkably similar show proposal in 12 months, it behooves me to be honest with you regarding your prospects with Picus TV. It is very difficult for us to imagine how a 13-episode dramatic series built around the nightly coding exploits of nuclear snake hacker extraordinaire would appeal to our target demographic. Our viewers are looking for action, mystery, and suspense. They want a hero who's not afraid to get physical, rather than one who skulks in the shadows and ducks for cover behind intellicams. To be honest, the main character seems, to us, somewhat underhanded and obsequious. A very popular character type is the policeman, or even better, the ex-cop who still upholds the law. This is the type of protagonist people can warm up to and cheer for. You should give this idea serious consideration. Sincerely, Cecilia Pate, editor, Picus TV. Oh, poor Pritchard. That's kind of funny, though. Yes, hello. We've already talked to the guards, so let's just move on. Talk to this janitor. Taggart was just here, Adam. Did you know he has a rehab center out in Utah? Sounds more like a brainwash center to me. They convinced people to get rid of their augmentations. I mean, can you believe that? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they convinced them to do a bunch of things. <laughs> you know what I mean? They convinced people to get rid of their augmentations. Uh, no new emails. The ebooks are all the same, and I very much doubt. Hey! 204 new credits. I'm sorry if I seemed way too excited about that. They might have even been there the first time, and I just missed them since the other drawer was standing open. It's just exciting to me to find new things. Yeah. They didn't spawn new, they were there the whole time, and I missed them. Which makes me, I don't know, does it make me a bad player? Apparently I missed that 187 credit chip, too. I'm sorry, viewers. I won't pretend I'm playing this completely on my own. I am reading the Deus Ex wiki about how to maximize my experience, but what I'm not doing is reading a walkthrough that has all of the items in it, and this is only my second playthrough, so I very well might miss some things. I apologize if I do. Conversation, perhaps? It sure looks like one, but I hear no audio. Let's talk to these guards first. Hey, Adam, you gonna leave something for us to do? Or are we only good enough for keeping watch over the cleaning crew? Your one-man army routine is gonna put us all out of jobs. Your one-man army routine is gonna put us all out of jobs. I know, I'm awesome. Get this, boss. William Taggart was here. Might still be here. I guess he met with Mr. Seraph about something. Surprised I didn't hear the discussion all the way down here. 
By the way, you said something about wanting to meet our head of security. Didn't sound too flattering either. I should have tossed him out on his ass. By the way, you said something about wanting to meet our head. We do get to meet William Taggart in a few minutes, and I have to say, even though like even though I disagree with the character's philosophy, I think he's a very good character. I think he's very well acted. I find him very compelling. I digress. Let's talk to these employees. Jansen, you talked to Mr. Seraph yet? I hear he may be sending you to China. I hope the trip's a short one. We'll all feel a hell of a lot safer once things get back to normal around here. I hope the trip's a short one. We'll all feel safer once things get back to normal around here. Adam, we're hearing the most incredible rumors around here. Someone really ought to put a stop to it. I mean, a secret FEMA prison camp. Really. People believe the most ridiculous nonsense sometimes. I mean, a secret FEMA prison camp. Really. People believe the most ridiculous nonsense sometimes. I'm serious. In the comments, if you're not subscribed to Alex Jones and you're not a crazy conspiracy person, if you know if REX84 is a real thing or if FEMA has this kind of authority, I'd love to know about it. I thought Mr. Seraph sent you home tonight, Adam. You certainly had a busy first day back. You don't really believe the U.S. government is behind all these attacks, do you? I mean, they're one of our best clients. You don't really believe the U.S. government is behind Another office? Looks like I didn't miss any drawers in here. That's that's the good news. I did, however, miss a credit chip. The hell is wrong with me? Whatevs. No new emails there. Let's talk to this gal. Adam, I just heard something that might interest you. My cousin called from police headquarters. Apparently there's been an incident. Major security breach. Yeah. <laughs> I hear they're shutting down the precinct to conduct a formal investigation. Sounds like a cover-up to me. I hear they're shutting down the precinct to conduct a formal investigation. Let's check this last office. What is everyone still doing here? What am I still doing here? Now that things have calmed down, I think I'll head home. Now that things have calmed down, I think I'll head home. Already read that. Let's make sure there are no new emails. Nope. All right, let's go to the third floor first. With all due respect, Mr. Cannon, I can't believe we're letting that arrogant bastard Taggart sniff around our building. Don't start getting all hyper on me now, Dobell. His Humanity Front Rehabilitation Centers are not filled with recovering neuropathine addicts. They're exactly what the name says they are, a front. For what, Dobell? Remember those allegations about the front sending money to organizations with known ties to terror cells? They're building training facilities for purity first terrorists. Taggart's aide Sandoval doesn't look like a terrorist to me, Dobell. The man is a doctor. It's the perfect cover, if you ask me. Let's talk to the guards first. Hey, Adam, you flying off again? I saw Malik refueling the chopper. No rest for the wicked, huh? Don't worry about HQ, we're on the job. No rest for the wicked, huh? Don't worry about HQ, we're on the job. People are finally starting to calm down in here. The hostage situation really rattled them. Of course, the FEMA rumor isn't helping, but I think the worst is over, as long as nothing else happens. Of course, the FEMA rumor isn't helping, but I think the worst is over, as long as nothing else happens. Let's talk to these dudes now. Mr. Jensen, did you run into Bill Taggart yet? I seriously can't believe Mr. Syrif let him in this place. After what his people did at our plant? I know, I know. He says Humanity Front doesn't support terrorists, and that he's against all the violence we've been seeing. But really? The man will say anything. I know, I know. He says Humanity Front doesn't support terrorists. Can't even pick things up in Seraph Industries. What is this garbage? Jensen, I thought Seraph sent you home hours ago. There's not more trouble brewing, is there? Come to think of it, Pritchard was looking for you earlier. I hope there's not a serious problem. We can't take many more of those. Come to think of it, Pritchard was looking for you. Jensen and Pritchard have the makings of a wonderful bromance going on. Is it true what they're saying? You found a FEMA prison camp right here in Detroit? Jesus Christ, this smells rotten. I'm not a conspiracy nut, but I've been listening to that radio guy. The government's getting ready for something big and keeping us in the dark again. You just watch. I'm not a conspiracy nut, but I've been listening to that. I don't consider myself a conspiracy nut either, but I do love hearing about it and listening to it and, you know, thinking and wondering about it. 
Nothing new here. The most compelling idea about the Illuminati is uh, the false dichotomy idea, where you have two things that seem like polar opposites that are actually con both controlled by the same organization. I mean, it's a very solid idea. If you think about, for example, Democrats and Republicans, two political parties, seemingly intractably opposed, but I've noticed my life isn't very different regardless of which party is in power. I don't know. The thought process fascinates me. I'd love for you to get beyond the video game and whether or not I'm good at it and whether or not you like my commentary and give me and the other viewers who read the comments your theories on this kind of thing. It would fascinate me. I am very curious. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Jensen, guess who was here? That humanity front guy. Trigger, Tagger, Tagger. Tell me something. Has he got a personal grudge against the big guy? If I didn't know how he felt about augmentations, I swear he was working for another company and trying to put us under. Most people only have two statements, but a few have three, so I, I have to check every time. I swear he was working for another company and trying to put us under. You still here, boss? I would have thought you'd gone home by now. Most people have left for the day. After all the excitement, I guess they could use some rest. Most people have left for the day. After all the excitement. Adam, is Mr. Seraph really shipping you off to China? What's he thinking? You don't send your chief of security halfway around the world just hours after a terrorist attack on your company? It doesn't make sense. You don't send your chief of security halfway around the world just hours after a terrorist attack on your company? It doesn't make sense. No. Oh. Oh, but you do because Heng Sha is amazing. I liked Detroit. I really didn't have any problems with it as a hub, but Heng Sha is so much better. It'll blow your mind when we get there. It really will. I'd like to finish up what I have to do so I can get home. I'd rather not spend another night at the office. Why don't you whine a little more? I'd rather not spend another night at the office. Okay. Ted Brueger's office. I don't think there's anything new in here either. Nothing new. Same ebook. No new emails. I did miss a credit chip, apparently. 233 credits. Of course, disregarding the DLC, I have 29,200 credits, which is a lot. We've already hacked this. We might as well open the door. Read that ebook already. Did I? Yes, yes, I have. No new emails, but I do know that new items can spawn. That Typhoon ammo was not in the helipad storage unit before. Of this, I am certain. Still nothing in the bathrooms. Next office. Oh, there's someone still in here. Hi, Adam. Sorry, can't talk now. I've got a few things to finish up and then it's finally on home. Hopefully things can get back to normal now. Hopefully things can get back to normal now. I'll tell you why I love this game in all the ways I didn't love Invisible War. I am completely immersed. I feel like I am Adam Jensen when I play this game. It's awesome. No new emails. 164 credits that I missed. What a jackass. How could I miss those credits? 215 credits and a whiskey. What is wrong with me? Guess I found them now, so it doesn't matter that much. Janitor. What's up? See you later. See you later. Well, you had a lot to say. Jensen, did you happen to bump into Bill Taggart yet? I'd love to hear your impression of him. Man's got charisma, that's for sure. His aide looked a little nervous, though. Man's got charisma. Let's talk to these guards. Most of the team is sticking around, sir, in case the attack on the plant was just phase one of a more devious plan. I don't think anything will happen, though. Those purity first guys don't seem smart enough. 
I don't think anything will happen, though. Those period... Amazing. Even people in this company are hypnotized by Taggart's charm. I don't care what happened to his wife. The man's a bigot, plain and simple. I don't care what happened to his wife. You know, boss, I don't mind saying some of us were worried Mr. Seraph was calling you in too early. A panic move, you know? Am I ever glad we were wrong? You're kicking ass and taking names. Am I ever glad we were wrong? Let's skip my office in Pritchard briefly and visit Office 31 and this gal first. Be honest with me, Adam. Is Mr. Seraph sending you to Hangshaw to finalize a buyout deal with TYM? You can tell me. It's no secret that Ta Young Medical has been making offers on the company. And now, out of the blue, you're going to China? I just want to know if I need to start taking Mandarin lessons. You can tell me. It's no secret that Ta Ah, yes. Got an e-book we already read, a drawer we already opened, and a computer with no new emails. Let's go to my office now. First, I'll see if I have new emails. I do! From Cal Lopez to Adam Jensen, Office Security, Yo Jensen. Welcome back, man. Didn't think we'd see you up and around for a while yet. Listen, could I ask you a favor? I'm not actually in the offices these days. Seraph's had me working over at the temp labs for about a week now. But I just called in for messages, and Cindy told me a few people's offices have been broken into. Man, that ain't right. If you, could, if you get a chance, could you take a peek into room 30? I just want to make sure no one's been in there messing with my stuff. Thanks, bud. Much appreciated. Access code is 0250, by the way. Let me know how things look. Cal. And that's a security hub. Now, let's talk to Pritchard. What do you want? As much as I hate to admit it, I need your help. That signal you shut down in DRB territory. It's been active for almost a year. You're telling me someone outside this company has had access to our network since before the first attack? I've detected intrusions before and shut them down swiftly every time. But whoever designed this particular algorithm is good. Very good. You've told Seraph? See, here's the thing. The intrusions were possible because of a backdoor access into our security system that I never even knew existed. The one Sanders team used to get inside our plant. I've worked here for seven years, Jensen, and this is the first time I've seen that particular access route. David Sarif created it specifically to bypass the firewall. He's hiding something, and I think you should find out what it is. Why me? Because, as far as I can tell, Sarif created that access and was streaming a lot of data through it shortly after your ex-girlfriend suggested he hire you. Interesting. Meet Pritchard in my office is done. I get a 1,000 XP getting things done bonus. New objective. Confront Seraph about the security leak. According to Pritchard, both attacks on this company took advantage of a backdoor into the network that Seraph set up right before he hired me. Maybe I should ask him what he was up to. Maybe? Don't you have some investigating to do? I told you, that backdoor pipeline allowed someone to hack into our system. It cost people their lives. I don't know what Sarif is hiding, but I suggest you get upstairs and talk to him about it. I don't know what Sarif is hiding, but I suggest... Let's go to the first floor now. The social battle with Seraf, coupled with the one with Taggart, are a couple of my favorite moments in all of video gaming ever. I think they're incredible. Let's check the bathrooms. Nothing, nothing, nothing. We get to do the social battle with Seraf now. Well, as soon as we go up to his penthouse anyway. But I'd rather clear the first floor first. Is it true what they're saying? You found a FEMA prison camp right here in Detroit? Jesus Christ, this smells rotten. I'm not a conspiracy nut, but I've been listening to that radio guy. The government's getting ready for something big and keeping us in the dark again. You just watch. I'm not a conspiracy nut, but I've been listening to that radio guy. It would not be 
be an understatement to say that Hugh Darrow changed the world as we know it. That's all the same. Hey, Jensen. How well do you know Farida? You know the pilot? What's her, um, situation? I'd ask her, but, well, she's ogged and I'm not. You know, and... Ah, never mind. She'd never go for a natch like me. I'd ask her, but, well, she's ogged and I'm not. You know, and... Ah, Nia Colvin! That's it. For a natch like me. Sorry, I was really excited that I finally remembered the last name. So... Far left, sun wearing sunglasses is Declan Faherty. Guy on the top, white guy, crew cut, brown hair is Oh shoot. Declan Faherty, Eric Koss. The black woman is Nia Colvin. Of course, we know Megan Reed. The white woman is Jensen's ex girlfriend. And the guy on the right is Vasily Sevchenko. I'm glad I finally remembered all five names. So I don't think the info stations have changed. Makes sense. I guess they wouldn't. Let's talk to these guards. How you feeling, Adam? Quite the first day back, huh? Looks like you're taking to those augments pretty well, though. You haven't lost a step. Looks like you're taking to those augments. Whoa, we can go back out to Detroit. What? There's no new experience out here, but we can go back out to Detroit. I thought that it was just going to tell me I couldn't leave. This is crazy. Let's finish off Seraph Industries first, and then let's see what we can find out here. Whoa. I had no idea you could go back out into Detroit. Granted, this is only the second time I've played the game, so the fact that there are surprises to me is not that surprising, but... People are finally starting to calm down in here. The hostage situation really rattled them. Of course, the FEMA rumor isn't helping, but I think the worst is over, as long as nothing else happens. Of course, the FEMA rumor isn't helping. We'll do the middle last. Let's cover the edges first. Any idea what the big guys got in store for you next, Mr. J? You go do what you gotta do. The team's gonna be sticking around to make sure nothing happens. You go do what you gotta do. The team's gonna be sticking around to make sure nothing happens. Jesus, Adam. A goddamn FEMA camp right in the middle of the city? No one knows about it? What the hell is going on with this country? By the people, for the people, my ass. I give it five years, Adam. Five years, and this country falls apart. By the people, for the people... If the country doesn't fall apart until 2032, I will consider it a victory at this point. But I digress. Let's see the middle now. We got a janitor here. Taggart was just here, Adam. Did you know he has a rehab center out in Utah? Sounds more like a brainwash center to me. They convince people to get rid of their augmentations. <laughs> Can you believe that? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they convinced them to do a bunch of things. <laughs> you know what I mean? They convince people to get rid of their augmentations. <laughs> well, the cute receptionist has been replaced with a dude. Hey, Mr. Jensen. Cindy left for the night about an hour okay. ago. So did most of the others. I guess you know your way around by now, though, right? I got the front desk, but don't expect me to take any phone calls. That ain't in my contract. <laughs> I got the front desk, but don't expect me to take did any phone calls. Did you see that William that Taggart in here? <laughs> he badmouths our industry every chance he gets, and then he expects to walk into some big welcome after we've just been attacked? Oh, she's got to get off the phone. Makes me so angry I could break something. The man's got a lot of nerve. Makes me so angry I could break something. Okay. Now, uh, looking at the wiki, I don't think there's any XP or anything to be had out there, but I am going to go check out Detroit before I leave. But for now, before we leave, let's go ahead and go talk to David Seraph. But before we do that, we get to meet Bill Taggart. I think they characterized him very well, and I think that the voice actor really pulls it off. He is completely opposed to my ideas, but I do find him quite charismatic. Excuse me. Mr. Jensen, isn't it? Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaiah. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity Front. I know who you are. 
Yes. Yes, I imagine you do. As David Sarah's top security man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am devastated by recent events. Really? I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the accident six months ago, isn't it? Sir, we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Ah, oh, my mistake. But it must have been stressful facing down a second incident so soon. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. Stay cool. I appreciate your concern, Mr. Taggart. But it was nothing I couldn't handle. I'm a psychologist, Mr. Jensen. I know when a man is hiding behind words. I love this quote. The flesh may heal, but the mind is not always so resilient. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. Let's question him. I'm curious about something, Mr. Taggart. What is it you hope to accomplish by coming here tonight? I would think that would be obvious. Your company has been viciously targeted. The violence and bloodshed that's occurred, it, it must be stopped. But I'm afraid it won't be until men of wisdom and understanding come to an agreement. About what? About the future, Mr. Jensen. This enhancement technology threatens to change the course of human evolution, to redefine what it even means to be human. You think governments can afford to let that go unregulated? You can't stop progress, Mr. Taggart. Perhaps not. But neither can we afford to sit by and watch it happen on its own. Not when we have the ability, the collective will, and foresight to influence it. I see. Thank you for illuminating me. Anytime. Just pay attention to the word choice and all the dialogues. I mean, on one level it's cheesy, but on the other hand, I do think it's pretty clever. The way they tie it in to later events in the game and the conspiracies that inform the backstories of all three games. It's just, it's fantastic. I love it. I can't get enough of it. I'm glad we had a chance to talk, Mr. Jensen. Meeting you has been very informative. You will think on what I said, won't you? You will think on what I said, won't you? Anyway, one of my favorite quotes, period, even though it's from a video game. The flesh may heal, but the mind is not always so resilient. Just love it. Bodyguard. Just doing my job here, sir. I'm sure you can appreciate that. But most of your people have been kind enough to give us a wide berth. So let's keep the hassle to a minimum. But most of your people have been kind enough. So let's keep the hassle. Nothing in the bathroom, as before. Let's talk to the other bodyguard. No shame what happened at your factory tonight. My condolences. We'll be out of here shortly. Then you can all relax. We'll be out of here shortly. Then you can all relax. Now let's talk to Isaiah Sandoval. You're Taggart's aide, aren't you? Dr. Isaiah Sandoval, isn't it? No need to play ignorant, Mr. Jensen. I am quite sure you have a file on me that's as thick as the one you have on Mr. Taggart. You're an outspoken activist in your own right, Dr. Sandoval. When you have seen the things that I have, you find you have no choice but to stand up and be counted. Frankly, I am surprised an ex-cop like yourself isn't more disturbed by the dangers of this technology. Augmentations help a lot of people, Doc. Handicapped, war vets. Yes, but at what cost? My own friend had his life ruined by these so-called enhancements of yours. A man much like you who had no choice but to become augmented. Yet once he was, too much power can make you do terrible things, Mr. Jensen. I suggest you think long and hard on that. Ask about friend. I'd like to hear more about your friend, Dr. Sandoval. What exactly did he do? Nothing. Was he injured in the Gulf? He went on a rampage in a shopping mall, if you must know. Hoping to be gunned down by the police, rather than face a lifetime battling augmentation addiction. He was addicted to augments? They don't talk about it in those corporate brochures of yours, do they? Neuropathy dependency, rejection psychosis, any number of physical and psychological ills have resulted from this technology, and yet, we rarely hear a word about them. I'm sure the literature is out there. No thanks to the throng of corporate lawyers attempting to stop it. Your friend, did he succeed? Did he suicide by cop? No. Bill Taggart talked him down. 
I am sure you are very busy, <coughs> Mr. Jensen, as are Mr. Taggart and I. I trust you will think on what I have said. I trust you will think on what I have said. I'm glad we had a chance to talk, Mr. Now let's talk to Athena. Athena, you've been at this company a long time. I hope that's not a comment about my age, Adam. No, but I know nothing gets by you. If Sarif had done something that could compromise us. Mr. Sarif has only the best interests of this company in mind, Adam. I'm not questioning that. Aren't you? I've been here since the beginning. I've seen how he built this up from nothing. He cares for his people. He truly believes what we're doing is important. And he would never do anything to jeopardize it. I shouldn't have brought it up. No, you shouldn't have. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy. You better get in there, Adam. David's been waiting. Try not to get him upset. This whole situation is really weighing on him. Meeting with Taggart certainly didn't improve his mood. Meeting with Taggart certainly didn't improve his mood. All right, let's go talk to David. I, I don't think the social battle starts unless we talk to him a second time. Still can't access his elevator. He's still got the Detroit baseball statistics up there. Can't open his drawers either. Nothing anywhere. Okay, let's talk to David. Boss, we need to talk. Is something wrong? I'm not sure. Did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired Personality me? Personality traits. Okay, what? Aggressive. Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. Excitable envious. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Psychological profile. Oh, I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now, but he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board. Preacher may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. Has a tendency to shift blame onto others, but will back down rapidly if resistance is felt. Is not afraid to use his authority to get his way and doesn't like to be defied. Will sometimes try to change the subject in order to win an argument. Let's refocus. I want to, believe me. I want to catch these guys as badly as you do. But that breach is responsible for every security crisis we've had, including today's. If you want me to stop these guys, I need to know what kind of data they've had access to. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry if I seem evasive. But you can't expect me to tell you every detail of this company's operations every single day. We're at war here. And it's your job to protect us from enemies who try to take us down. You should have found that loophole without my having to tell you about it. You know, Frank wanted me to hire experts, an outside security firm to protect us, but you convinced me you could do it. Are you saying you were wrong? I'm going to say defend. I think I proved myself today. And the only reason I'm worried about that loophole right now is because the data you streamed through it could have been accessed, backtraced, and stolen by the men who attacked us. Our enemies might still find a way to hurt us with it. What? Well, I never considered that. I'm sorry, son. I guess you have proved yourself today. Look, I'm not going to share every single detail of this data with you. As CEO of this company, there are things I can't release, even to you, Frank, or Athena. I consider us all a team here, but we each have our own roles to fill. I decide who gets trusted with what, and in this case, you're just going to have to do your job without knowing all the facts. Megan said you could roll with the punches. Proof she was right.
I'm going to defend again. Actually, let's use the pheromones. No, 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 let's defend. With all due respect, sir, I am trying to do my job. The job you hired me to do. The job you even brought me back in for tonight. But it feels like you're getting in the way. Especially when you start bringing Megan into this. I wasn't trying to... Look, I don't want us getting upset over this. If I'm reluctant to share the data with you, it's because there's legal issues involved. Every company has its secrets, son. And Megan's research was a big part of ours. But the data I streamed has nothing to do with her. It wasn't even proprietary in nature, so I don't want you wasting any more time harping on it. The shareholders expect me to take care of it, and I will. So leave it to me to deal with from here. I'm going to placate here. Boss, I'm sorry if you think this is a big waste of time. I just don't want to see anyone else getting hurt because of information I didn't have. But if you really believe this data can't hurt us, that it won't come back somehow and bite us in the ass, then I'll trust you. I can't be 100% sure of something like that, Adam. No one can. God damn it. All right. Look, the truth is, I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator, someone who can run covert background checks on people, potential new recruits like you. You what? I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. Now, Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. Look. I don't want this to come between us. I'll send the files to your computer. You can see for yourself what he dug up. But Adam, you'd better be sure. Why? What do you mean? I mean sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. When you're ready, come back and talk to me. We need to discuss our next move. Excellent. Getting things done, 1,000. Silver tongue, 1,000. Achievement unlocked, yes, boss. Let's look at the achievement. Yes, boss, you had an argument with your boss, David Seraph, and won. You've earned a 19 out of 49 achievements, 38%. That, I think, was the first perfect social battle I've ever had. I picked the right choice every time without using pheromones. Love it. Anyway... Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing which should get you to Henshaw Island without any problems. You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the typhoon or with some other top secret military project that I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development. Self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. All right, meet Seraph in the penthouse. Another thousand for getting things done. Awesome. New, meet Malik at the helipad. Seraph is convinced that FEMA had nothing to do with the attacks. He believes the address Barrett gave me is a better lead. Looks like I'm going to China just as soon as I meet Malik at the helipad. You have your orders, Adam. 
Meet Farida at the helipad as soon as you're ready to leave. And don't forget to keep track of your expenses in Hensha, or Athena will be on my ass. And don't forget to keep track of your expenses in Hensha. Okay, one thing you absolutely need to do after winning the after winning the social battle, I guess you can call it that since they do. Go to Adam's computer and check his email because Seraph has forwarded all of the confidential data to you. And you need to read it to open up a side quest when we come back to Detroit later in the game. So, I'll, you can live with losing the social battles with both Zeke Sanders and Wayne Haas, but this one, you need to win, or else you do not get to access a side quest later on in Detroit. Anyway, here's Adam's computer. From David Seraph to Adam Jensen, confidential, to frenetic pony at sicorp.det from Brent underscore Radford at caps.det.usa, re paternity test. I had a friend at the Gene View Labs run the test off the records like you asked. Does your subject know that neither of his parents are his birth parents? That surprised me. The mother was sterile, according to those old medical records I dr dug up, but his dad carries no common phenotypes either. See for yourself. Mother, Margie Jensen, 808.05.72, Caucasian. Father, Arthur Jensen, 112369, Caucasian. Child, Adam Jensen, 3993. As an aside, just because I don't feel old, but the fact that I play this game, I still think of myself as the same kid who was playing, I don't know, Chrono Trigger in 1995. The fact that Adam Jensen is eight years younger than me freaks me out a little bit, but I digress. Genetic Systems Tested slash Parentage Index D2S44 slash 0, D4S163 slash 0, D10S28 slash 0, Probability of Parentage 0. From David Seraf to Adam Jensen Confidential. To Frentic Pony at si.corp.det from Brent underscore Radford at caps.det.usa, re re Arthur Jensen. To Brent underscore Radford at caps.det.usa from Lucius underscore Marco at khyber dot mi dot usa, re Arthur Jensen. Brent. It wasn't easy, but I finally backtraced some of Margie and Arthur Jensen's past through their medical files. Arthur Jensen had enough connections through his old Desert Storm buddies turned security consultants to have certain records pulled, which is why the family is a ghost. But he couldn't hide Margie's records. For a period of eight years, Arthur relied on the insurance policy of his then-employer White Helix Labs to pay for his wife's medication. She was on antidepressants since 14 and needed regular prescriptions. When White Helix Labs burned down, all its files and deployment records were lost, and the Jensen's stayed invisible, mostly. Here's the thing. One minute Adam doesn't exist, and the next, the Jensen's have themselves a bouncing and healthy five-year-old. That's when they pull their vanishing act. So on a hunch, I sniffed around some more, and sure enough, the Jensen's had tried adopting kids from several Michigan agencies, but Margie was deemed unfit as a parent. Next thing you know, they have Adam. There's no real trail saying how he was placed in their hands. Hope that helps, Lucius. From David Seraph to Adam Jensen, confidential. To Frentic Pony at si.corp.det from Brent underscore Radford at caps.det.usa, re Jensen's psych evaluation, Mr. Seraph. I found Adam Jensen's psych evaluation following that SWAT incident with the augmented teen. I managed to sneak a look at the folder, but I couldn't copy it. At least, not yet. I'll be honest with you, the psych eval doesn't paint a pretty picture. It mentions the problems with authority figures, a disregard for the chain of command, anger management issues, and potential PTSD. Here's the thing. 
When you hired me, you said you wanted me to read between the lines. So here it is. Read between the lines? So here it is. The evaluation reads like fiction. I'm thinking a pissed-off superior wanted Jensen off the force and had the evaluation worded to read like Just Cause, but most of the rank and file I spoke to respected and liked Jensen. They thought he was a real straight shooter even though the SWAT incident soured his reputation a little. Still, even my source liked him enough to want to keep his psyche valve buried. Brent. And that's that. We could head up to the helipad Athena now. Athena tells me you spoke to Saraf. Did he happen to tell you why he made us look like idiots? I'm handling it. You can imagine how relieved I am to hear that. I'll tell you what. While you follow any lead Saraf spoon feeds you, I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place and backtrace that signal. That's your pride talking. Still, get back to me if you find something. You meant when? Pretty sure I didn't. Oh, they bicker. But it's just because they're both unaccustomed to seeing somebody else who's good at what they do. I want to see if Pritchard's in his office. But I think he just disappears. Yeah, he's not here. See you later. Now, here's the thing. We could go to the helipad now, but I really thought I was blocked from going out to Detroit, but since I'm not, I kind of want to see what's going on out here. Is there a problem, sir? Beat it! I got nothing to say to you. You're Jensen, right? One of my buddies. Looks like absolutely no changes. My is it true that the leader of the terrorist cell got away? 2027, and we're still I'm arguing sorry. about the damn environment. Yeah, you seem nice now, but it was some big news. Global warming. Yeah. It's looking to me like absolutely no changes. Nothing personal, but I don't want to have anything to do. Yeah. There are no changes at all. It'd be a waste of time if I explored the rest of the hub. Let me make sure there's nothing I want to sell to Grayson. And actually, in that vein, let me make sure he hasn't restocked anything. If he has, I'll check Sarad in the limb clinic. If he hasn't, I'll go ahead and assume that there's no changes. Here's what I want to know. I need to take a moment, look at my uh, controls, and see how I toggle my augmentations. Do I just have to go click on them with the cursor? No, I don't want to quit. I want to resume. Sorry. How do I use the cloak? I mean, it's... You see it there in the, you know, if you, if you superimposed a compass rose on your monitor, you would see a little four-way menu of augmentations at east, and the upper portion of that, up the upper quadrant of that is the cloak I just bought, but I have no idea how to use it. How do I cloak? Activate clo- Okay, there it is. There are only four augmentations that use energy in this, in this game, and here we see the keys to use them. F1 through F4. Cloak, Typhoon, Smart Vision, and Silent Movement are the augs which use your energy cells, apart from takedowns, of course. What's your pleasure, friend? I'm not interested in selling, I'm interested in buying. Looks like... Hey, homie has a mind template? He's got... Homie's got three mind templates. Well, I tell you what... 
It looks like he does have some new stuff. Always a pleasure. But I need to clear some inventory before I can buy his third mind template. That's fine. Let's make a gas mine. And then let's make another frag mine. And then let's buy the other template. What'll it be? Be sure to tell all your friends. They're just not the cops. <laughs> I've been impatient so far, so this hasn't really come through. But I'll just tell you that mines, generally speaking, are much more useful than grenades. You can plant them, wait for the enemies to do their thing. That's awesome. Let's talk to some of these people. Augmentations ain't gonna change a damn thing. Who do you think's gonna be able to afford them, huh? Bad enough when I was just poor. Now I'm gonna be poor and out of date. Bad enough when I was just poor. Now I'm gonna be no poor offense, and out of date. But I wouldn't get enhancements even if I could afford them. And the shots. Ain't there already enough that can go wrong people with our saying, natural oh, bodies? Progress. Look at me. Okay, as well, a few things have changed. I heard a new dialogue. Detective Chase is gone. Maybe we do need to explore Detroit. Let's do it. I know for a fact that Grayson had some new things. I don't believe he had those mind templates before. The Thorps are still here. I can never thank you enough for You'll what you did. You'll remember his name, won't you? Sarah. Like the painter. Okay, nothing has changed in the Thorpe's apartment. Well, I guess we have to explore all of Detroit because some things haven't changed, but some things have. So when I go back to Seraph, I'll talk to everybody out in front of it. Just listen for new dialogues. You know what been saying? This country's falling apart, man. States are looking to leave the Union. If that happens, the government is gonna come down hard. That, or someone's gonna move in and take over. If that happens, the government is gonna come down hard. Word that, to the wise, or someone's gonna move in and take Don't over. go straying too close to derelict row. Them crazies don't, don't be listening well. to me and my crew, man. Somebody might think you're a narc. Ain't it kinda late for someone like you to be using these alleys? I broke my leg ten years ago, and it ain't never really healed. Jenny Alexander's still here. You did a good thing, Jensen. Once a good cop, always a good cop, huh? Damn Ogs. The power-hungry bastards. Every last one of them. They're nothing but ten-plated despots in the making. They're nothing but ten-plated despots in the making. Hey, pal. You got any change in that fancy coat of yours? I'm just listening for new dialogues. As I talk to all these folks. I think this apartment was empty anyway. Yeah, it was. I'll tell you this. Granted, Mass Effect, the series kind of got the ball rolling on this stuff, but... The social battles in this game, the conversations, so far we've had three, with Zeke Sanders, with Wayne Haas, and with David Seraph. They are more intense than just about anything else I have ever seen in video games. I just think they're incredible. They are so well executed, such a cool mechanic. Every other game would do well to emulate them. That's all. Okay, well... O'Malley is still unconscious. That's fine. There are a few dialogues here and there I haven't heard, but they aren't... new in the sense that they're activated after the Highland Park mission. They're just new in the sense that I haven't heard them yet. And it looks like just about everything is the same, except... Apparently, the merchants have some new stuff. 
I could be wrong. I'll have to go back and look at my other videos to see whether or not Grayson was selling those mine templates before and I just didn't buy them. Because I have a really big backlog of videos to upload that I've already recorded at this juncture. Like, I'll just tell you what exactly, where exactly I'm at. The prologue has just finished. The prologue has just finished uploading. I'm currently uploading the first real visit to Seraph Industries as I record this. The rest are recorded sitting on my computer waiting to upload because, as it turns out, I have a shitty internet connection. So we'll see. But in the meantime, let's see if Surratt has any new goodies. This is what I got. I'm a friend of Greg Thorpe. Really? Okay, I give you the egghead discount. Bye! We got machine pistol ammo and stun gun darts. No thank you. We got a stun gun and a machine pistol. No thank you. We got a remote detonated explosive device. Done. No thank you. The remote detonated explosive device would be pretty useful for setting up double takedowns, thereby maximizing experience, but I don't want to use anything that vanilla players without... I love the Icarus, it's so cool. I don't want to use anything that vanilla players without the DLC could not use. So, we will leave the remote detonated explosive devices where they are. Just as a reminder, I am still cognizant of the fact that I am currently, due to utilization of a glitch based on a false alarm, 75 experience of ahead of where I should actually be. Also, because I purchased all the DLC, I am 10,000 credits up of where I actually ought to be, where I a vanilla player, so I won't use any Praxis points without accounting for that 75, and eventually, as soon as I, as soon as I get a chance, I don't know, the crowd was getting pretty hostile. But there was violence, right? The police did physically strike some of the protesters, right? Well, sort of. Hey, some people were shoving the police shields, and, and the cops had to shove back, but uh, nobody really got hit, I don't think. So the cops shoved people down. Very good. Thank you. Big news day in Detroit. A hostage taking and a protest? Might bump the regulation debate out of the headline slot. Of course, they're all the same story, aren't they? Of course, they're all the same story, aren't they? I do believe that... Any media outlet you choose to consume, from the extremes of Fox News and MSNBC, even to ostensibly neutral ones like, say, CNN, I think they're all biased, they all spin, and I love the way this game explores that issue, too. It's just awesome. Will you be purchasing anything today? That depends. Do you have anything new worth purchasing? The answer is no. Well, maybe next time. See you then. Bye-bye. We get much more into the media stuff later when we go to Montreal and tackle the Picus building. Okay. I think we are just about ready to go back to Seraph Industries, meet Malik at the helipad, and at that juncture I will call it a video. I just gotta say, god damn, this game is so good. If you didn't play it, play it now. There we go, cloaked! Currently my cloak lasts an amazing three seconds. Upgrading it so I can use it longer is a fairly high priority, but it's not at the top of the list. The next thing I want to do is get, I need a total of four Praxis points to ultimately get the EMP shield on Dermal Armor. After that, I will be ready. 
Um, I went all the way to the third floor. Oops. The helipad is out here. I promise I'm not an idiot. So let's go to the helipad. We will arrive in Hengsha. I will listen to any introductory conversations, and then we'll call it a video. Hey, Jensen. The boss said you were on your way. You're gonna love Hengsha. You've been there? Used to live there. I spent three, maybe four years working in the upper city, and most of my nights having fun in the lower one. You ready to go? Ready! Unf- Ah, uh, there, there. See, we, here's how we know nothing has changed. Warning, unfinished side quests will be cancelled if you leave. Are you sure you want to go now? I finished all the side quests. Yes, I'm sure. I thought I was. How long is this going to take, Malik? You mean the flight or the fun afterward? Don't worry. We'll be there before you know it. Climb in. That completed... Well, I'll wait till... That was extremely loud in my ears, but we just completed the Meet Malik at the Helipad objective. That was also worth a thousand XP. I believe I got one new Praxis point, but I'm holding it, waiting for a second one in order to unlock Dermal Armor. Jensen, you might want to get ready. The jewel of the Yangtze approaches. Son of a bitch. I'm supposed to find answers in that? Hey, twice the scum and half the space. Hang on, we're going in. The address you got off that Merc, Hengsha Court Gardens? It's a bit of a walk from here in the Yuzhou district, but I figured it might be best not to drop you too close. In case Barrett only gave up the address, knowing I'd walk into another trap. It's the kind of thing I'd do to an enemy. You want my advice? Just find out who lives there and get out. There's your cutscene. We got nothing. At the moment, we don't even have any goals to look at. I do have one available Praxis, but I would prefer to unlock Dermal Armor, which requires a second Praxis. So, we shall wait. We shall make a new permasave. Now that we're in Hengsha, which is, frankly, just awesome, I'm going to call it a video. This has been Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. We just tackled the third visit to Seraph Industries. The fourth, if you count the prologue. Next time, we will get started in Hengsha. We will tackle, as you can see here, the Qui-Gon District. Until then, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.